Welcome back to another Scars of Mirrodin draft. It's been a while. I'm sure you all missed me and my silky smooth voice and my understated sarcasm. Um, and this is quite a nice pack to come back to. Oh, Happy New Year as well. Just I oh, know I wrote an article since the New Year. Never mind. Forget that. Yeah, there's a fairly good pack to start with. We've got five cards I'd happily first pick. There's an exercise for you to work out which ones. But the dragon is just better than the others, basically. Um, nice even spread of colours as well, so we're neither sending nor reading signals here, so... Just take the dragon and move on. And... Yep, yeah, more good stuff. This time the good stuff is in white. There's an uncommon missing, so... That could be anything, really. It could be Rain's um, Scrap Melter, it could be Skin Render. So we can't really gain much info there. I mean, I'd say the choice between Arrest and Gloom Point Stag, really. Probably going with Arrest. I just don't really like Red-White. I never really win with it. I mean, it used to be that Red-White and Infect were the best combinations, but Red-White's kind of clunky now. Like every, Everyone just tries to draft it, and so you lose to the control decks. Um, having said that, I'd much rather take an Arrest than a Sis Bear. I'm not really into the whole Sis Bear it fad thing where you first pick it and force infect. I'd rather take it fourth pick and go into infect when I've seen it's open. And yeah, there's another arrest, I guess. The guy to our left, we'll just have to hope they don't take the arrest and then they go in point stag. Otherwise we'll get nothing on the way back. But um, taking a rest now is great considering we've got this horde smelter dragon. So yeah, we just want to stop them killing us until we get to six mana. I mean arrest's good on offense as well, so... And, again, there's Glim Point Stag, but there's also Origin Spellbomb, so... Still sending white signals, but I mean... I'm not too bothered about sending white signals, because we're obviously receiving the white signals as well. At this point, it's fairly clear that the guy to our right is not in white. So even if we don't get anything pack 2, we'll still reap the rewards pack 3. And we haven't really passed any red, as far as I can remember. Oh, wow. <laughs> so many Origin spell bombs going around, but I think I have to take Kemba here. Because, I mean, put one equipment on that guy and it just gets really good. But there's also Sky Garden Spell in the pack. Like, white is, we can definitely say white is open. But yeah, like I was saying, yeah, it's just a shame that people to our left will also come to that conclusion. But um, as I was also saying, we haven't really passed any red. So hopefully we can just keep taking white and then start picking up red in pack two. But having said that, it's always good to have a plan B. So I'm going to take the scale school here. There isn't anything else in the pack that I'd happily play. I mean, there's a Berserkers, which I'm not too bothered about passing, and I'd pretty much never play either of these cards, so... I mean, I might board this in if I'm defensive, but I'm not too happy with a 1-5 for 3, so yeah, I'll just take Scar School, in case I get zero red cards and a bunch of good white. And... Culling this would be good if I'd taken all those Origin Spell Bombs, but I didn't. And so, so I'm just adjusting my mic. I'm gonna take one of the equipments. I'm just deciding which one. Pinions, not great in red white, but I'm not really a big fan of battle gear either. I suppose it might be good if I pick up some glint hawks and stuff. Just it's good on any flyer, really. Um, don't really want to play Sun Chaser. <laughs> With zero artifacts, even if I do have artifacts, I'm very unlikely to play Sanchez, so I really don't like the idea of a two mana one one that needs it needs the nut draw to be good, but then you've got the nut draw so you don't really need it. That's my view on that card. And Dan Gardner always tells me how much of a bomb this is, so I'll take Ferrival. Um I mean, which is worse out of... I suppose Seize the Initiative is worth considering as well, but I mean, it doesn't really look like I have the deck for it at the moment. I guess Pinions. I mean, these two are quite aggressive, and it doesn't look like I'm particularly aggressive at this point. Yeah, I don't want to take another bad equipment. I'd rather start playing good ones. This card's really good. I think... I thought this was... Um, I thought more people knew how good this was at this point, but... I guess it's still going around. I think this is better than a Heartstoker. I'm unlikely to play Heartstoker. And we get Seize the Initiative anyway. Sadly, no bomb rare in this pack. 
And not really a whole lot to decide from. It's pretty much Ember Smith or Volition Reigns. I guess I suppose that is something to decide on. It's just a question of which which is better, Ember Smith and Dragon or Volition Reigns and Skyle School. But there's also the the case of um blue versus red because it didn't seem like red was open last pack, but we did get a fairly late Skyle School. It's actually quite a tough one because I mean Ember Smith's probably a bit better than Volition Reigns, but I don't actually have any artifacts, so I think it might be worth taking the Volition Reigns. I mean, I, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a pretty tough one. Like, if we play blue, then we obviously won't have the Horde Smelter Dragon, so we won't be too worried about six drops being too clogged up. I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm going to take the Volition Reigns. It's just more powerful. Like, I'm not sure if I'm playing blue or red at this point, and it's just more powerful, so I'll take that. Um, another miserable pack, really. Guess the options are Silver Life Staff, good with Kemba, not good with much else. Flight Spell Bomb, just generally Cantris, but we're not necessarily playing blue. And New York Replica, same again. Good card, but not necessarily in blue. I guess, yeah, just by that reasoning, I'll just take Life Staff because I'll almost definitely play it and hope to pick up some actual creatures. And Mearsmith is pretty awesome. That's weird, because I thought white would be not open in this direction, but yeah, I guess I was wrong. It's just better than any cards in the pack. Much better than Perilous Mir. How much do I want that Revoke Existence? I kind of want Glinthawk Idol, just because it's good now that I've taken this Mearsmith. And also adds a crucial 2-drop to my curve, because I don't actually have anything at the moment that can attack people so I can remove all like all the creatures I want but then they drop a bomb that I can't deal with and all my early removal was irrelevant so yeah I think I'm going to take Glint Hawk Idol. Does look, I don't know actually, I'll say I could be blue at this point and take the Skyle School but no I kind of do want to play that dragon. Yeah I'm just going to stay safe, take the card I'll definitely play. And uh, not much exciting here so I'll take the Iron Man. Yeah there's really not much choice here. I mean I'll play this even if I don't play red. So I'm not going to take a Panic Spell Bomb or a Berserkers over it. Um, I quite like Acolyte. He's underrated. And do we have anything that's good with Furnace Celebration? Not at the moment. But I mean, it's either that or New York Replica. So New York Replica is good with yeah. I like. I'll almost definitely not play Furnace Celebration. So I will happily take this card. I might play. Mm, but then again, Barrage Ogre. <laughs> We still have to decide at some point. Um, yeah, Panic Spell Bomb's just better than the other cards. Uh, probably won't play this, but also not playing anything else in the pack. Same reasoning again, Daredevil or Scrap Melter. Um, I guess Scrap... no, not Scrap Melter, that would be a very good pick. Scrap Diver. Slightly worse than Scrap Melter. Um, yeah, same again, I guess. I don't, really don't like Flameborn Hellion. I don't like having no control over what I do with my cards. And pretty much the only control you have with Hellion is play it post combat, and then it doesn't have to attack the first turn. Bam. Bam. Man, I really want something that helps me make a decision between blue and red. And Galvanic Blast and Dark Slick Drake are both awesome. I really like Dark Slick Drake, it just stops so much. Like, I'm at the point where I might just take Glimmer Point Stag just so I still don't have to make a decision. And Glimmer Point Stag is just generally. Decent, especially with like arrests, you can upgrade your arrests and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take the Glimpoint Stag, even though there's a bunch of sick cards in this pack. It's just, it's basically, I'm still just hedging my bets and I'm not sure what colours I'm gonna be in, so just taking the card, I'll definitely play. And that might make my decision for me, especially with two stags, yeah. <laughs> I am now definitely playing Scrap Melter. <laughs> and now, a Empty pack. Actual nothing. Uh, Strider Harness, I guess. The only card I'll potentially play. And now blue cards. I suppose I could play blue, white, splashing red with Iron Man. Yeah, I'm not going to play any of these white cards. I really don't like Oriok Replica. So I'll take this guy to school. And still Stone Cold Nothing. I'm not sure how I've gone. I went from having. Every white playable pack one to nothing pack three. I think it's just the way the packs were opened. 
Um, the only card I might play is Drake, I guess. But <laughs> almost definitely won't play that. Yeah, I guess Darkstorm may I seem quite defensive, so. And yeah. Can't go wrong with another Glinthawk idol. Um, Clone Shell. Pops out. Glimmer, Point Stag, Scrap Melter, Horde Smelter. Yeah, Clone kind of Shell's pretty good for me. I guess I'll take that. And PV likes that, and PV's probably the best player in the world, so I'll take it. Uh, don't really have any uses for coating outside of Scrap Melter, as far as I can see. I suppose Barrage Ogre. And do I have anything that wants Metalcraft? Not really. I suppose I probably won't play Soul Parry, so yeah, I'll take the coating just in case. <laughs> Another Sky or School. Well, I suppose it's the one from the pack I opened, with a bunch of good cards in it. Somebody rightly took Dark Slip Drake over it. So yeah, <laughs> actually still could go blue white and splash Grap Melter. It's gonna be a tough choice. I suppose it depends what I play against. If I play against a deck where I feel three three flyers might get me there and I'm potentially bored into the uh, scale school plan. But I think I have to start with Scrap Melter and Horde Smelter to start off. Probably only play those two equipments with my um, Kemba. I don't want to ruin my deck just because I have a Kemba and play a bunch of mediocre cards. Unsurprisingly, I have run out of playables. So now I have to decide whether I want to go minus, minus. Plus, 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 and really mess over my mana base. And I'll see if I can fit any more red cards in before going for that. I um, suppose I could play Bard Battle Gear, but I don't really want to. Oh, I can almost definitely play this because I'm quite defensive. And then, I could try this and this. I mean, what's Battle Gear good with? It's good with Warden, it's good with. Kemba, it's good, kind of good with Glint Hawks, like pay two, get an extra four, and <laughs> it's good with Barrage Ogre. Definitely good with Barrage Ogre. And Barrage. Um, could play this, but well, I don't really want to play this and Dark Still Mirror. Um, just don't really want to play three colours. Especially when I've got Volition Reigns in those three colours, as well as Glen Point Stag's Kemba Car Regent, and so on. Could play Replica just because it's a 1 4. I mean, what's Coating good with? Coating's good with Mearsmith. It's good with Warden. It's good with Ogre. That might be enough to play it. Oh, it's good with Horde Smelter as well, but I mean, Horde Smelter's winning by itself. Um. Yeah, I'll try it. I can always board it out if it's underperforming. Uh, I'll just see how many creatures I have as well. I mean, it says 12, but I've got Glinthawk idols and stuff, so... Just to get a better idea of the curve... In fact, it might be counting as Glinthawk idols. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no, it's not. And the 3 drop as well, just <laughs> add a random... 3 drop. Yeah, I might actually just play this guy. Just to fill out my curve and play 18 land. <laughs> this deck's really horrible. It's got some good cards, but it just, my indecisiveness made it turn out horrible. I mean, well, not horrible, just lack of playables, but I got far fewer white cards in the third pack than I expected after what I got in the first pack, so I guess it's just the way packs were opened. But yeah, I'm gonna submit like this and. See you in round one. I think 18 lands, like 18 lands and liquid metal coating is good with Ogre as well because you can sack down the lands, but yeah, it's not the best deck I've ever had, I have to admit. But yeah, anyway, see you for round one. <laughs>